Hey gang, Ryan from Mana Bluff here and a Fate Reforge Cons of Tarkir draft. Let's bust a move here, see what's happening. Um, Palace Siege. Not the most amazing siege, but I kind of like decks that deal with these. We also have a foil, a soul flare, uh, which I'm not that excited for. I mean, it's cool if you get all this stuff in and it's kind of like exciting, but it's not really anything better than the siege. Um, that being said, cards I already love, Goblin Heal Color, I think everyone kind of knows by now is like a premier red card, even though red's kind of the worst color in the format. I don't know that from experience, that's just what I've heard. Red and Bean's pretty nice, love that in blue, and it's considered one of the best uh, colors of the format, and Typhoid Rats. I'm going to start with the Heal Cutter, because I kind of want to mess around with this and see if I kind of get there. Uh, I'm not too sure if that's the right pick or not. Uh, I think definitely over the uncommons, for sure. Those are better. Wooded Foothills for a ticket or two, but Mistfire Adept was passed to me. It's kind of like one of the most amazing... Oh, and there's Wild Slash. <sighs> Man, this pack's insane. And someone took, what, a common over it? Or maybe like a foil mythic? I don't know. This pack's amazing. Okay, I'm not looking at the rest here. I'm digging around with this little bar. Um, what I was saying earlier is like I have this is actually my second draft. The first draft you might have seen um, from the pre-releases I actually recorded and posted. This is the only time I've been able to draft since. But I've just been seeing the limited resources and watching other people draft. But man, Sandstep Outcast is a great um, white card. I think Misfire Adept, it's between Misfire Adept or Wild Slash. Yeah, the Slash goes with Red One Mardiap, but Misfire Adept is just so good. And Blue um, Red is also really good in general. I'm going to take it, um, even though the Wild Slash could be good, uh, or it could be the right pick. I just, I've heard that this card's just crazy and gets you wins out of nowhere. Um, here's a Bathe in Dragonfire. Uh, I forget what this one does, and it's because it doesn't matter. What's Right of Undoing? Do you have a permanent you control? This is good, the Right of Undoing, but I think I like Bathe and Drown Fire better. Even though, um, again, Red's not exactly that fantastic. Channel Harm's really good too, but at this expensive uh, 6 cost, I think I'm ready just to take the 3 mana, you know, more efficient, uh, or at least the less costly removal spell. Just Guy Sage would make the deck too. I think I'm going to go with the removal spell over that. Rage Form is very playable. Orc Sure Shot's very good. No more blue. So the Adept might go away. Rune Mark's horrible. Vengeance is blah. Invocation, I'd rather take the Rage Form instead. Mardu Scouts can be really good if we start getting really aggressive. And with one heal cut, this might be the way to rock and roll. War Flare is fine, but I don't know if I'm in Jeskai yet. And we can kind of do that later. Really, it's a between the Sure Shot, which is very good, or the Mardu Scout. And I wouldn't mind, like, moving into necessarily black-red. Could take the Rugged Highlands on Speculation for Teamer, but I don't think that's particularly right yet. I haven't even seen, like, good green. I don't know what's better here. Rage Form or Mardu Scout? I'm going to go with the Rage Form. I know it's playable and good, and it seems to have, like, a decent enough upside, and just going strong red is fine. Could be better that I should have taken the, uh... Uh the scout instead. Let's see, what's those I mystics do? What else I mystics enters the mouth return to your Nothing, that's why it's there still. Emissary is a good card. Fascination's bad. Cunning Strike could go into this deck, though we're not seeing a lot of blue. That being said, there's a Jeskai Sage and a Rune Mark, and Rune Mark goes in the blue, uh, red build. With the flying, but I think I'm just gonna take the Cunning Strike? Cause I'm, I mean, I'm taking a blue card, and if I'm taking a blue card, I think I like the Cunning Strike over both of these, because I'm going to have effects that replace this, whereas Cunning Strike, uh, I think, is just powerful enough to get there. I don't know that's true. I've just kind of seen mixed things, but I like being in these colors, so that's fine. Ooh, Humble Defector, that's fantastic. Noticing the Wind Scarred Crack, but I like this 2-drop. It also uh, gets value later. Um, we might even get some combos off with it. Um, like, if you get the, the Sacrifice a Creature... And deal damage. I forget what it does, but something like that. So it's just a nice aggressive two drop in red where I want to be. Just guy sage is okay. Also like it as well. But I'm kind of leaning towards red a little bit more than blue at the moment. I do want to put together some kind of a prowess deck though. Just a thing to consider. And then again, Windscard Crag, an option, but I'm not too arm in just guy yet. Here's another cunning strike. Kind of the same common run. 
Blue's still, I mean, blue's pretty deep, so that, that I'm not too sure if I'm seeing that it's open or not. I think I'm going to take the first Jeskai Sage or the second Cunning Strike. I don't know how many of these kind of things I want. Not too sure yet. Sultai Emissary, I think, is the best card in the pack, but that could be my bias for really liking slow, grindy things. And this guy comes down turn two. You have the Manifest later. It's, it's like three power, three toughness for two mana. That's always fantastic. Green, we haven't really seen anything that's gotten me excited to move into it. We're still seeing a lot of open lands, though. You just gotta wish I might have gone like for a big old open land set, but I'm gonna be happy just rocking and rolling a uh, a blue red build right now. I'm curious about the storm of falls because I might be splashing green if I want to splash a bit of teamer, but I don't think I take it if I don't know that I need it yet. And so my question is, do I want a just guy sage again or another? I think I'm taking another cunning strike. I don't know how many just guy sages I really want, um, because I don't know if they're that great in the aggressive build. They seem like they're not that good. Oh, slamming the Swiftwater Cliff since it's for sure on color. Enhanced Awareness, though, fine. Not exactly what this deck particularly wants, and the rune mark is horrible. Shadow Spear is fine, but yeah, let's get the cliffs in here. Sort by Covered in Mana Cost, please. Grim Contest is still here? That's crazy. Team or Battle Rage is actually really good, I've been told. As if you've been watching any of the coverage from like the old uh, Grand P in San Jose, Grand Prix in San Jose, or the Pro Tour. This gets really good. It's not insane in this deck yet, but we are going to have a lot of picks to get it insane. Happy to take a ride on doing here. I think we're in the right colors. I don't know how true that is, but I think we are. All the rune marks plus discard cards. Uh, none of it really matters. Da -da -da -da. Just going to cut my color. Oh, yeah. I don't care about the 3-5 as much. That would be nice to get off the board against my deck. Really love this heal cutter. Would like to fill out some better two drops, just like um, like just guy wind scouts and stuff. This team or battle rage should be really good uh, with like whirlwind ed ups and stuff. But that's about the only thing I think that's there. Naturally, in these two colors, that is four toughness. But there's a couple of prowess dudes. We did miss out on like some of the key um, blue cards. So I think someone next to me is blue. So blue will kind of be the second color. This add up though is really strong. I don't mind the cunning strikes. The just guy sage is not too strong. The Revan doing isn't particularly strong in this deck, but they're fine. Hmm, it's a solid start. But man, rocking a team or battle rage with a misfire add up on the board. This becomes a four four flyer. Double strike. Ouch, even the trample. That could be quite fantastic. Okay. Let's see. Another dual land. I mean, that's value here. Maybe I should just start taking these. Kind of need to care about them. Especially since what am I taking? Oh, War Name Aspirant. Just Guy Elder is good, though. Another Swift Water Cliff. Summer Prowler is pretty good in this kind of deck with a team or battle range. But I could probably pick one up later. Hmm. I feel like I should just take the Windswept Heath for the two tickets I can get from it, because that's kind of my policy, but really it's three tickets where I start like caring that much. Uh, so how aggressive am I? I don't think I'm that aggressive for Warning Master, especially when Jeskai Elder is that good, but remember I was thinking red would be kind of primary? I don't know. Torn. I should know these picks by now in, in these colors, but I don't really play these aggressive decks that often. I'm going to take the Elder, just because I know it's powerful. Could be wrong. Jeez, Suspension Field and Savage Knuckle Blade. That's pretty nice. I'm going to take the Knuckle Blade. This guy's just so strong, and I'm already in this close. We can pretty easily splash grain. I'll be looking for this Thornwood Falls or that earlier um, other Swiftwater Cliffs to table to smooth the mana out. Sure, I want my Suspension Field, uh, but I think I'd rather take this really powerful rare over a really strong removal spell, because I actually should be able to get some removal spells um, in these colors. I already have two Cunning Strikes, Dragonfire and Team of Battle Rage. Not as good as Suspension Field, mind you, but still good. So I'll rock and roll the uh, Savage Knuckle Blade and try to look for things like Frontier Bivouac. Murder's Cut's really good. Don't care about Swift Kick. But uh, yeah, Frontier Bivouac's really nice, so I'll, I'll happily grab that for my now Super Duper Splash. That Murder's Cut, though. Ow. That is a card. Ooh. I like the Bear's Companion quite a lot, but this is a really great burn away here, so I think I'll take that instead of the Bear's Companion. Plus, I don't know if I want to be like committing to too many picks towards fixing to get too much of a splash on. 
Uh, wouldn't mind the Lurkers coming back. Even a Bring Low, I'd play in the deck. Not going to play all these 5-drop removal spells. We'll see just how great they all get as we move forward. Wow, just a whiff here? This is rough. Maybe I take the Feeder Resistance in case for some reason I don't want to splash green. I want to be splashing white or something else comes around. Maybe I take that. I think I would take the Feet over the War and the Eye at this point. Though that could be really wrong. More do Horde Chief's really good. The Free Weapon Master is fine, but there, I would definitely take the Warden over the Free Weapon Master. And maybe Feet isn't really the card I want to be splashing white, whereas Warden is. Yeah, I'm going to take the War of the Eye on Speculation uh, for Splashing White. Though I don't really intend to, nor hope to. So it looks like someone else went in on our colors here to our left, which is weird. Maybe they opened something just fantastic and wanted to like move in. I don't know, but I'm surprised we're getting this hard cut. From this direction, at least. Um, so I take a Teamer Charger. Maybe that makes a cut because I can morph it and then flip it with my one green card. That seems pretty horrible. But their option is, what, a long shot squad, which I don't really want? At least this morph, like, I mean, at least I can, yeah, I can just, like, cast this as a morph. That's horrible. Jeez, and a monastery flock? How is someone red next to me? Someone op must have opened a, uh, a planeswalker, because I don't know how it, this is going down. But whatever. Such is the life. I don't think there's any other discussion for a different pick, so I'll take it. I'm not happy for these guys. Let's see. Smoke Teller, Archer. They're fine, but I'm actually kind of in this Mystic Monastery if I want to salvage this draft and start maybe looking into some more white. But then it's not like anything else has come through. But I'll take it, because at the very least it is a blue-red spell. I don't really want a Dragon's Eye Savant if I'm already running a Monastery Flock. Like, this is not what my deck wants to be doing. And no matter what, I'll play in the Mystic Monastery. Swiftwater Cliffs did table, but I think the Summer Prowl is kind of key. And we're actually having picked up the Monastery pretty okay on, on this kind of fixing. I just I would maybe take um, the uh, the Green Fixer over it, or maybe a white one on Speculation again. But instead, I'll just take a solid um, Summer Prowler here. Tormenting Voice, if I'm sure I'm playables at this point, I'm just scared about... Even though we're kind of getting up to playable range, like this deck really, I mean, isn't that fantastic in any way, shape, or form. Waking the Bear Island game. Meh. I guess I'll take another two drop. I mean, I don't have the mana to play it right now, but I mean, it's there. So no blue in either direction, which is a bit worrisome. If I go white, do I want a Salt Road Patrol? I think I'd rather just have a morph if I'm scared about having to fill in the deck with silly things. Okay, I'm going to need a lot to go right in this next pack. Because ideally, I mean, right now, these t uh, a lot of our two drops aren't even that good to play. Um, even the defector kind of is horrible, considering I'm not that aggressive, so a 2 1 with a little bit of upside isn't like particularly fantastic. And our creatures are pretty lame as well. So what's here for us? Wow, just another horrible set of cards. Uh, Absent Battle Priest and Air of the Wilds are very fantastic. Both of them are kind of like on our splash, and neither of them are very good on the splash. There's another Summit Prowler, which will probably table like the first one, so I'm not going to take it here. I don't want a Monastery Flock. I'm more likely to play a little bit of green if I have to, because I already have the Frontier Bivouac. Um, actually... It's a lie, right? I'm just as equal to play white because I also have the. I, didn't, I forgot about the Mystic Monastery. Oi! But a Knuckle Blade is better than a Warden. And that's really the the key here. But then I could take those Sagorch. Wow, this just sucks. Well, taking this guy. It might end up being the Blue Splash thing. Hello, Ice Feather Aven. Winter Flame, Ice Feather Aven. I think I need to close these a little bit so I can see better. Sorry, gang. Um, all right. I'm pretty sure I'm taking the Ice Feather Aven, which kind of commit me into a little bit more on the green plan, but it seems like that's what's happening. Winter Flame could be good, but Ice Feather Aven is just so much better, and that means I need to kind of audible. The issue is 
uh, which card am I, which color am I splashing? I don't really know yet because I'm looking to kind of move away from the blue splash, or sorry, move away from the green splash to make it a blue splash, and red's kind of still being the main color. This Avon's pretty, pretty nice, and I need that kind of power level right now. Um, I don't think this is a Roar of Challenge deck. So there's just an Anok tracker? Oh gosh, maybe it is. Maybe I do want a Roar of Challenge. Let's get rid of this guy for sure. What blue cards are actually worth playing? The Avon and the Mistfire Adept, right? The other blue cards are blah. The other green cards are blah, but the air's better. Charger's fine. Flock's blah. Red, these guys can make it, maybe. A little short on creatures. Yeah, this is definitely a need to salvage the draft situation. Gosh, this Horde Chief's so good. I'm going to take the roar, but how many times can I actually... Tr like, how do I trigger it? The Misfire Adept? A Summit Prowler? Savage Knuckle Blade? I mean, it might get in there. It's just the, a powerful effect. And that's kind of just where I'm at right now. Another Mystic Monastery. A Jeskai Wind Scout. So the Wind Scout is easily the best card. I'm not playing the Swift Spear. This is not a barrage deck, unfortunately. I would love it to be, but it did not really come together. So I'm back to being torn between what's the what's the splash. I don't need just a normal duel here. So I will take the Wind Scout. And I'm waffling again. I don't like to be this late in a you know in a draft and be like, oh, I wonder what, a, what my other color is gonna be. Shrieker's fine though, not good. But, you know, I might be able to cast something. Definitely don't want another Monastery Flock. Let's say green's the splash, right? For the Ice Feather Aven and the Savage Knuckle Blade. I don't think we... I mean, the, the air can come down late, but it kind of loses its, its awesomeness as a double here. Don't really want to play Tormenting Voice if I don't have to. And so we're way behind on playables. Still want to get the War Shrieker, though. For sure playing it. I think I stuck to red a little too much. Jeez. Two cards I really want. I think I get away with just, you know, one duel for this. And since I'm so low on playables, I think I need to take the strong Mystic of the Hidden Way. It's just a really good card, of course. I would love this Ragged Highlands as well, but... I guess I'm a beggar, and that means I can't be a chooser. Ooh. Couple of good cards. Again, another good fixer for us. But being long plays, I do want power and this, but this gets to our third. That being said, two of them are more, so I don't need it, um, the fixing as much. I think I will take the Snowhorn Rider though. Um, I think normally saying the draft, I would want the land by then. Um, but I'm in salvage a deck mode. Because I don't want to have to like play some of these dorks over here. And it's I'd have you playing green cards anyway to fill out the deck or a tormenting voice. So I'd rather have it be a morph that I'm filling out since I'm right now only at twenty playables. Take a trumpet blast because it's like a card in my colors that could be played, but we don't have a trumpet blast deck at all. I think I do want another summit prowler over a monastery flock. For sure. At least just get some beef on the table. Help with like a team or battle range or something, even though I don't really love having that many um, double reds in this clunky mana build of a deck, but at least it's a powerful card. Winter Flame came back. That's actually really good. Kind of helps round out what we're doing here. It'd be amazing if I got like one late dual land back. I don't anticipate that happening, but we're now at like a solid base deck. I don't want to play the Enoch Tracker, Teamer, Banner in the event. I feel really desperate. Take the barrage bowlers. It's actually be a good sideboard for us. Um, smoke. Da -da. Da -da -da. Da. All right. So man, it's gonna be a little sketch. Still don't think it, we need the banner though. Think it's okay. Because remember, two of my green cards, like I mentioned, they're morphs. So if I don't actually have the green source, there's still something to do with them. And then only the Savage Knuckle Blade is the one card of green that we need green. So having two to three uh, green sources should be just fine, though not ideal. All right. Well, that's a deck. 
It's not great. Uh, all I really have to do is figure out the mana base because I don't think there's anything from the board that I'm bringing in. None of the greens are going to make it, even though Air of the Wilds is good, but not a splash card. Barrage of Boulder is really the only card I consider being powerful to consider in the main, but I don't think our deck's main with it. It's more just a cyber card against other like X1 tokeny type decks. And same with Trumpet Blast. We're not never doing that. Tormenting Voice I don't want in this deck. So let's just add some basic lands. All right, where does that leave us? We currently have, wow, four green sources. I'd be surprised if we can keep that. So we have one, two, three blue sources right now. Three, four, five, six, and eight blue. That's pretty good. A couple twos, threes. Yeah, I'm down with eight. How many red do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh. And then ten red sources. A bunch of double reds. So I wouldn't mind one more. So the question is, do I want to cut a forest for an island or a mountain? Man, I just have one more like Swiftwater Cliss. This mana would be actually pretty insane. But considering we're at 10-8, I'm actually okay getting the four green sources since all three of my green uh, spells are super powerful. I actually, you know, really would like to be able to flip over my Morse and have the Savage Knuckle Blade. And I think the rest of the mana is going to be just fine. I forgot this right I've been doing still here. No, could be good. I think, again, there's nothing I want to bring in instead of it. So yeah, I'll keep it this way and head into the first round.